Every year in June, Annecy becomes the world's animation capital. From the big American studios to independent creators and students from all over Europe and the world, it is the place to be. Every kind of format, media, technique and fantasy is allowed and on show. This year, the stars of animation inaugurated a walk of fame. And Michel Ocelot received an honorary crystal award, the first of its kind. The father of Kirikou is one of the great masters of European animation. And he spoke to Euronews' Frédéric Ponsard. I feel I've become a storyteller. At first I thought I was essentially a draftsman, but as time went by, I realised I liked telling stories. A little mechanism that starts moving, that goes where I want it to go, and stops when it has to. Not too early, not too late. His latest film, The Black Pharaoh, The Savage and The Princess, will be released in Europe in autumn. The festival ended with a prize-giving ceremony, including the coveted crystal for best animated feature, won by the Franco-Luxembourg film Little Nicholas, co-directed by Amandine Fredon and Benjamin Massoubre. It's the story of Le Petit Nicolas and his creators, the cartoonist Sompe and writer Gossini, who also authored the Asterix cartoon series. We're extremely happy for the whole team because it's really the work of lots of people, 200 or 250 people. So with Amadine, we're both really jubilant, but I'm thinking just of the team. The Petit Nicolas books were not books for children. They're books for adults who had children. And this mix of the adults and the child's perspective is spot on. Another remarkable film picked up the jury prize, Alain Oghetto's No Dogs or Italians Allowed, which tells the story of his Italian grandparents' immigration to France. The filming was European. Switzerland helped us, Belgium, Italy, Portugal, and I work with young people from all over Europe. It's a story about Europe and its migrations with the ever-present fear of the foreigner as an undercurrent. One of the great animated films of the 2022 festival, which was a terrific public, economic and artistic success.